Here, just five metres below where I'm standing, is London subway system, or underground, or tube as it's known, carrying hundreds of thousands of passengers every day. 30,000 of those, or 20 million a year, get on and off for the embankment station. The uppermost tunnel directly beneath me was constructed using the so-called cut and cover method. In other words, a large trench was excavated and then roofed over. Dating from 1870, the cast iron beams in these tunnels, which carry the weight of everything here on the surface, are now roughly 140 years old. The intensity of its use makes new build tunnel projects practically impossible. Refurbishment under operational conditions is the only solution. The focus of the strengthening programme which was to enhance the safety of the district light tunnel either side of the embankment station, was to reinforce the age-old cast iron beams. Here, the innovative secret carbogeo ultra-high modular system provided the prime solution. Being only 4.7 millimeters thick, the strengthening plate resulted in a minimal loss of tunnel headroom. The strengthening plates were installed each night between 1 and 5 a.m. when no trains were running. Yet the hard work paid off and I'm pleased to say that the project was delivered on time and on budget. Each night after installing the scaffolding, we started by cleaning and priming the cast iron beams. The strengthening plates were then fixed to the cast iron beams using a structural epoxy adhesive. In all, we installed 1,300 metres of plate over a five month period, working on two beams a night. Part of the refurbishment team, Seeker helped ensure that 90 of the tunnel roof beams will be able to support the projected load well into the next century. Seeker is active worldwide in refurbishment projects where the aim is to make existing structures fit for the future. Indeed, for Seeker, it can truly be claimed that the past is a future market.